This is a really neat little habitat we've set up for her. She cannot fit through these holes. There's no way. Now she's gonna be looking for a way out, but that's not gonna happen. Nice and sealed up. But let's have a look now at Bobby Rubino, who's been in here just about one week. What do you think? I think he's happy. Dude, look at this, he's gonna whip me. Oh, you're so tough. You're so tough, Bobby, take it easy. So amazing to see him just really taking to this. It's kinda like Lizard Central over here, huh? Hey, what's going on? I'm hanging out here with Inky. Look at how big Inky's getting. What a beauty. And we're gonna put Inky into her new habitat. I want her to go outside. I want her to enjoy this summer. And uh, I think the humidity's perfect now for her. I think she's grown up quite a bit. Um, she's still a little bit shy. So I'm gonna have to keep an eye on her and make sure she's actually eating all her food when she's in this new larger enclosure. But here's the key, guys. We gotta see. Oh yeah, she can't fit through these holes. Perfect. We sincerely thank all of you happy campers out there. Your support makes a real difference in our efforts here at Camp Kennett. This week's special shout out goes to Joe and Carrie Hathaway. Thank you for all you do and for loving reptiles. All right, here we go. We got to go through Slinky's house. We're going to give you a little inky, inky cam here. This is what we're doing. Little inky point of view as we go through Slink's house. We want to make sure Slinky doesn't get the scent of an inky because she would not last long with this man up here. There he is. Oh my gosh, it looks like his uh, door is closed. Let's open that while we're here. The wind must have blown that close. Hey, Slinks, he's staying out of the heat right now. Uh, we're just gonna move on in here. Oh, you, it's Guapo. This is gonna, gonna be kind of cool, guys. This is a really neat little habitat we've set up for her. So again, I wanted to be on hand when I released her into here because this, you know, this is a new environment. I've double checked it. Um, she cannot fit through these holes. There's no way she can squeeze through this hole, but it's a pretty simple habitat. We got some ferns in here. We got some hiding areas. She can dig down into the mulch. Um, the whole thing is really secure. I want to look under here. Yep, yeah, looks good. She's looking at me right now. Look at her, she's so beautiful. So let's go ahead and put her out here. Go on. Oh yeah, there you go. Oh yeah, she's already trying to get out. Super scary. That's why I wanted to be here, just to make sure everything was cool, that she can't get out. But this is what she's gonna be doing right now. She's gonna be looking for a way out, but that's not gonna happen because we have gone over every inch of this enclosure and we are making sure that she can't get out. Of course, I'm gonna feel a lot happier once she gets even bigger, but again, she's looking pretty good. And I like the fact that she's got a nice area to kind of hang out in with some plants. We've got the water, we've got these branches. Once she calms down and understands she can't go anywhere, this is gonna be where she's gonna be hanging out, up on these branches and in the water here. We're gonna fill this up even more, um, but I can easily drain it. Uh, it's just a good situation for her. So I'm really, really excited. Come on, girl. Now she's gonna be a lot more shy than Bobby Rubino is. So what I'll do here is what I wanna do is we'll check in on Bobby, but I'm gonna set up a camera that we're gonna be able to watch how she maneuvers around this joint. Oh, and look at this. How about a brown and all? I don't think this guy is gonna be too tough. He's trying to show off to Inky, but he may not last once Inky gets a little bit bigger. In fact, Inky could probably eat him at that size. So any lizards that kind of wander in, she's gonna get pretty cool. Look at these little maniacs, little brown and all. All right, so where was I? Oh yeah, I'm getting this thing out. Get it set up. There she is. Oh, take it easy, sweetheart, take it easy. What a beautiful lizard though, don't you think? I love her, man. I'm so grateful that Kevin sent me this animal. I love black dragons and it was a bucket list for me. And that's exactly what we got. A beautiful black dragon from Nerd, everyone. All right, so you guys, there's, she, there's Inky. She's just kind of hanging out over there. And what we're gonna do is shut this door. And remember, I had boa constrictors in here. I had some hog island boas, uh, and they never found a way out. But again, nice and sealed up. Very good stuff. We don't want any issues, man. 
All right, but let's have a look now at Bobby Rubino, who's been in here just about one week. He's been loving it. I fed him yesterday, but look at this. What do you think? How's Bobby liking it? I think he's happy. And it's kind of cool to see um, this monitor that's normally found on the ground. He's using the branches, and that's true when they're young. When they're little like this, they're going to want to go up in the trees. They're going to hide up in, in areas like Komodo dragons when they're little will take to the trees to avoid the larger lizards that are found on those islands. But Bobby, man, awesome job, dude. Look at this. He's going to whip me. Oh, you're so tough. You're so tough, Bobby. Take it easy. Isn't this awesome, guys? Remember, Bobby was not doing well, and now this lizard is just fantastic. He's able to climb properly. He's able to move around his enclosure. He wanders around. He's been hidden here a week, so obviously we know he can't escape. So amazing to see him just really taking to this. And um, these two maniacs, there they are. It's kind of like Lizard Central over here, huh? They want to know what's going on. Didn't you guys eat any of your lettuce? What's going on there with your spring mix? They made a mess is what they did. But yeah, so super cool. Very simple enclosures, guys, because they are babies. I just need places for them to hide. We should probably get a palm frond in her enclosure as well for a little bit more cover. But look at how precious he is, man. So cool. Yeah, yeah, we get it. You're tough. Look at how black that throat is. That's why they get that name, black throat. All right, and there's uh, some old... Uh, cockroach that he didn't eat but we're gonna shut him up we're gonna head back to our gal pinky because this video is about pinky and how great she's doing and how big she's getting so uh, you guys just the fact that she is outside is gonna be amazing look at this she can't get her body through can't get her head through so i'm happy about that And she's definitely trying, but it is not going to work out too well for her. That tongue flick, very, very cool lizard. Um, just love getting these animals outside into a more naturalistic environment. And uh, that's what we're doing, man. So she's doing her thing. She's going to be walking around, checking things out. Very smart lizards, as you guys know. I'm going to step up on this stool here because that will enable me to get even closer. There she is. And I wanted to spend time with her outside so that, again, I've said this a bunch already, I wanted to spend time with her um, because I want to see what she does. And this is one of the things that you need to do. If there is a problem or if there was a problem, I, I wanted to make sure that she, you know, that I could remedy the problem immediately. Um, so I'm going to spend a little time out here with her. And maybe we'll do a little time lapse just so you can see her walking about her new enclosure. It's awesome, man. This is just a... I'm so glad that I keep enclosures empty and that I've lightened my load here at the camp. It's something that I've been wanting to do. Uh, I told you, for those of you who follow me on Patreon and follow those Patreon lives, uh, some of you have asked, why have I gotten rid of some of my animals? And I want to be able to continue to make quality videos, fun videos, um, and if you have too many animals, um, you just get bogged down with work and then both aspects of your career will suffer. I can't take care of all those animals on my own. Don't want to hire anyone because it's my home and I just kind of want to keep it mine. I want to keep it manageable. I want to keep it fun. So I want to not have too much stress and that's exactly what I'm doing um, by narrowing, narrowing down the amount of animals I have and focusing on animals that I'm really excited about. You know I love the monitors, really enjoy uh, turtles and tortoises and crocodilians, and there's all kinds of stuff in the works that you guys are gonna be excited about. So there she is right up there. Let's see, I wanna see her kind of move around a little bit more, um, uh, get out of that one area. So I'm gonna kind of cruise up in here a little bit more and see if we can kind of coax her to kind of wander around. Go ahead, just wander around a little more. There you go. She's so inquisitive though about the camera. I love how she looks at the camera. A lot of tongue flicking going on. Just a really beautiful animal. And uh, we're gonna keep an eye on her in here. We're gonna be checking her out, making sure everything's dialed. But I, for one, am extremely excited that she has now got an outdoor abode that she's large enough to not fit through. And uh, man, this is just so cool. Come on, little one. Come on, little one. 
Now she would probably poke her head through every single one of these little holes. And so I went through and I checked out every one to make sure that every one of these squares was of the proper diameter or rather measurement because we don't want to have a problem like we did with good old diamond python in that enclosure where Slinky got to it. So uh, very important that we make sure we have a completely escape through escape proof environment for it. Hey you, hey you, come on, keep going. There she is, so beautiful. Yeah, this lizard's awesome, man. I can't wait till she gets much larger. It's gonna be fun just to see her do her thing and uh, keep track of her progress here at the camp. I know you guys have already fallen in love with her and uh, man, she is amazing. And these guys are found, their specific locale, the black dragons, and they are really, really interesting that they are a black water monitor. That is just crazy. Such a cool lizard, man. Very, very cool. All right, there you have it, guys. Uh, we've got her out. I'm gonna go ahead and just let some time lapse roll and just see how she wanders around this new enclosure. Uh, pretty pumped on this. She's hiding in there. I'm probably gonna get a palm frond and dress this up a little bit better so she's got even more security. Uh, that's the key. You wanna make sure they feel really, really secure um, when they're in these larger environments. So uh, I'll also go ahead and get this pine needle off me and uh, fill this up a little bit more with water. Although it's, you know, it's looking good. So we've got little nozzle here where water will drip down and miss this out uh, when I turn it on. In fact, why don't I turn that on right now and show you guys? It's pretty cool. All right, everyone, there you go. I'm gonna go ahead, turn on the water, see what she does. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys again real soon. Don't forget to comment below. Let me know what you think of Inky's new habitat. All right, guys, I'll see you again real soon. So long.